Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can display the temperature measured with HTU21DF temperature and humidity sensor as a bar graph on the LCD screen 1602 or 2004. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. HTU21DF is a temperature sensor that I have separate video explaining how to use it. And also I have a separate video displaying the temperature as Celsius, Kelvin, Fahrenheit, or the humidity, the relative humidity on the LCD. In this video, we are going to display the bar graph. Why we need to use bar graph? In many applications, uh, you need to monitor a temperature from far distance away without reading the actual number. For example, your bar graph can be from zero to 60 degrees, and you know if the screen is full, it's 60 degrees, and if it is half, it will be 30. Proportionally, you can imagine immediately without reading the number, and that is in many cases, people are using it. So I have written this code, and I have uh, modified the bar graph code that was available, I have fixed it, and it is available, you can download it from the link below. A separate introduction video to this HTU21D uh, humidity and temperature sensor and a separate video explaining this. The link for both of these will be below the video. I will not going to go through the details on how this works and how this. So we are directly jumping into explaining the wiring and the code and demonstration. So in order for you to successfully test this, make sure to run this separately, the code will be available. Without this module, make sure that you can display the temperature on the serial monitor. Once you're successful with that, then try only the display. Make sure that you can display some kind of text or hello world on this. Once you're successful with both, then you can come here and put them together and run this code. Now let me explain the wiring, but if you need wiring diagram, it is available as part of my Arduino course at udemy.com where you can learn Arduino from ground up, step by step, and all the libraries, uh, codes, a schematic diagram, everything will be displayed or available to you. The link will be available. Now let me explain the wiring here. We have here four wires. If you see the temperature sensor at the top, I'm talking about the left. The left pin is connected here to 3.3 volts. This is 3.3 and the second pin is ground. This is connected here to the ground pin of Arduino. This is SDA, it has been connected to analog 4, A4, and SCL or clock have been connected to analog 5. For the LCD, ground pin have been connected to the ground on this side, to the ground pin of Arduino. The second pin is VCC that has been connected to 5 volts because we did not use 5 volts. We use only 3.3 volts for the temperature sensor. And then we have SDA, the gray have been connected to the second pin from this side. And SCL is the last pin which has been connected to the last pin on Arduino on this side. Let me explain the code. As I've explained it at the beginning, of this video that you need to watch two videos. One is for the LCD and one is for this module. So you have to watch, use, and make sure it works. For, for this, you will install the library and it will work. And for this, also you need another library for the LCD. Both of them will work. And now to combine them together for the bar graph, you need to install the third library, which is this uh, LCD bar graph RoboJax. This is the modified version of LCD bar graph that was available. I have provided the link inside the library from the original source. This line, it says include wire.h. That is part of Arduino library for I2C communication. You don't need to do anything. You need to download this one as zip. It's Adafruit HTU21DF library. You have to install it download it as zip file and install it and also you have to download and this one and install it 
Telecode Crystal. Let me show you quickly in case you did not follow the previous videos. You will download as a zip file, then you click on Sketch, include library, add dot zip library, and then point it to where you are saved your zip file. For example, if, you, if this was your zip file, just select it, select the library and click open. You have to do this for both of these, for this and for this. And from this Adafruit library, we will create an instance of that class and we call it htu. And this will be used throughout this code. And then we are defining the maximum value. I didn't call this maximum temperature because there is humidity as well. So maximum value. and 160 uh, you can set it for Fahrenheit this was 160 doesn't matter which unit so this is reflecting uh, the value if it is humidity you must not exceed 100 because humidity goes up to 100 percent and then include the code crystal this is for the LCD and here the number of columns 16 and number of lines 2 this is referring to 16 character and then one two line. And if you are using 20 character and four line, 2004, just type here 20 and then four. This line from this line is an instance of this class and we call it LCD, an object, and we pass three parameter one, two, and then three. LCD line is this one, and LCD column number is this one. We are passing it. And this is the I square C communication uh, address of the module. I, I already know this is to be 0x3f, but you, you need to have the address for your module. For that, you need I square C scanner. I will provide you the link. Copy and paste it in a new sketch. Let me open it. Once you have it, we do not worry what is inside this. Just upload it. Because we are checking the uh, I2C address for this, this module is also communicating via I2C. So let's disconnect the two wires that are for SDA A and SCL for this module. Disconnecting it, I'm leaving it, and this is now connected. And let's open the serial monitor either by clicking here or Tools Serial Monitor, and you will see here that it will print the address 3F for this and it goes and checks again and prints it. So 0x means hexadecimal and 3f is the number. And if I connect this, you will see that we are, we will be reading more address here. The 40 is now the address for the, for the actual module, but we need th this one. So close this and close the I square C and upload this code again. And we will pass the value that you read from the SQRC scanner. Then include LCD bar graph RoboJax. This is the class that displays the bar graph here. And this line will create an, an instance of this. And we call it RoboJax. And we pass this LCD as a reference here. And so in how many characters you want to display, for example, you can choose to have only eight characters to display the whole temperature. For that reason, this is the number of characters, not number of characters on the bar graph. So in how many characters, for example, this is eight, you could type eight, and the bar graph will go between these two. And this is the character, and this is referring to line, character zero of line zero. If you want it in here, we will do it in here. If you want to shift it somewhere else, start from 8, you could do so. That's character. If you put 8, it will start from 8. Like that. So I'm making it 0. Inside the setup, we are using serial monitor value 9600 baht to display this if you need it on the serial monitor you can comment this out and lcd.begin is initializing the lcd lcd.clear clears the previous value because when you turn it on sometimes it will have some random characters here and then print this will print if i reboot this 
you will see that it will print RoboJax here on the first line. And then htu.begin, that is initializing the sensor and it must, this is returning true if f, this is true, which means the uh, temperature sensor is working. Then we set the character at character zero line one and print this text, which you saw it here. It was line one. Let me restart it so you will see it, this line. Else, which means if there is error, we say missing HTU21DF, while one means pause here forever. And then we give the user two seconds, sorry, and then clear the screen from that value, and we go to the loop. Those, val those codes that are inside the setup will run only once. The loop will be running continuously. Here, clear line one. We will clear the line one if there is any information like RoboJax or before value that was there. So we are clearing that out. And then we are reading the temperature. This is now reading Fahrenheit. If you want Celsius, just type C. If you want Kelvin, you want K. If you want humidity, just type H. All of these are capital. And the value, whatever you read, will be stored in T. And then in the next line, we use we assign T to the T graph, which is needed. One is for value, the other one is for the graph. And here we check if T graph is bigger than maximum value, then we set it to zero because we don't want out of range value, it must be within the range that you set as a maximum. And then RoboJax draw value, this line is responsible for drawing this, and we pass the T graph, we pass here the, the value, this, this value in here, we pass this value in here, and also the maximum value to draw the graph, and then this is printing on the serial monitor, the value. If you can get rid of it if you do need it. And then we set the cursor to character 0, line 1 to print this value. Again, we check if t is smaller th than value, then we print it, temperature. And if it is humidity, comment that and then comment this out. We don't want temp, we want humidity. Else, if it is if we reach the maximum or above the maximum, then you will see that this will disappear and this will turn to max. So we know that bar graph cannot be displayed because it's above the maximum. And then LCD cursor, it goes to cursor character 7 of line 1 here, and we print the temperature. This is the one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7. And then this car inside the Prentice is called casting and we are changing this to character and it's printing that symbol and if you want percent comment this and uncomment remove these two and put them here the degree will disappear and if you want percent the percent will appear and this is Fahrenheit if you want Celsius change it to Celsius or Kelvin and then we wait 500 milliseconds the loop will continuously doing the same thing. Let me now demonstrate it. This is now the room temperature, 26.48 degrees Celsius. And here is my heat gun. I apply some heat. As you can see, it shows around 48 degrees or so. It went. This time I'm gonna try to make it above the limit and I've set the limit 60 degrees. I program this so it will show max, which means the value is not reflecting at the bar graph. This is the value. Let me just change it to 80 degrees. Now, based on this, when it, the code loads, it should go somewhere at the middle. So 45 is there. Let me apply. So when it reaches 80 now, this is 73 or something.
and here we don't want let me just copy and make another line so this will print percent and comment this so it doesn't print that humidity because the maximum value for humidity is 100 make sure to type here 100 for humidity I have to change this to capital H as well and now it shows the humidity around 10% let me when you heat it up the humidity is, is reduced now it should just slowly increase and the bar graph slowly slowly showing up as soon as the temperature dropped the humidity has increased 59 percent and it goes back 21 percent because i was holding it if you want Fahrenheit changes to F go back to the maximum value that you want for Fahrenheit let's say you want 100 degrees Fahrenheit and here remove this and make it F Fahrenheit and also make sure to display the degree symbol so this was just for humidity for Fahrenheit and Celsius you just need to change this uh, now the room temperature is 91 degrees Fahrenheit 160 I just change this to 160 now And it works perfectly. I would like to sincerely thank the following people who have supported me via Patreon. Thank you for watching. This was how to display the temperature from HTU21DF as a bar graph on LCD screen. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up. If you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below. If you are interested to get updates of my upcoming videos, you may subscribe.